What's happening beautiful people my name is Dirty Mike and welcome to the advanced fake shot tutorial and if you enjoy this type of video please drop a thumbs up show your friends pass it around the community so we can get this information out to a much larger audience and it does take me a lot of time to build in-depth tutorials but I love doing it and the response so far this year has been incredible you guys are supporting these videos amazing and I really appreciate it, it shows me that the extra time and effort I'm putting in is helping other people and it's adding some new things into your gameplay so today we're looking at one of the most commonly used moves in FIFA, the fake shot. And I've got three different variations I like using on a regular basis. We've got the turn and burn. When you're receiving passes, you're, you're using that fake shot. It gives you a little bit of a burst of pace. Number two, we've got the stutter step, which I really like using to throw off your opposition, keep them guessing. And it's nice if you're good at skill moves, adding it as a little bit of a mix-up. And number three, we have the stop and pop, which you see me using on a regular basis. You're stopping on a dime. And then you're either able to cut inside, you can facilitate, you can take the wing by storm. It's good for possession. you got a lot of different options. And if you guys need Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFAcoinstoday.com. The links will be in the description. And make sure to use the code MICHSO9, M-I-C-H-S-0-9, in order to get an additional 10% off every single purchase. And as always, before I go into gameplay and get into the clips, we're in the arena and I'm trying out the move. I'm trying to get comfortable, and that's what this is all about. And I highly recommend using the fake pass instead of the fake shot. It does the exact same animation, but it doesn't limit you. And the big difference that people are not all that familiar with, or some people aren't if you haven't been playing FIFA for a while, if you do the fake shot, you can only do it from your opponent's half of the field. If you do the fake pass, you can do it anywhere on the pitch. You have zero limitations, and that's why I recommend trying to get used to using the X and A command instead of B and A, or the square and X instead of circle and X. And it will take you a little bit of time, but I definitely worked hard at it for a few months back in FIFA 2008, and it has paid dividends. The turn and burn has become a regularity in online matches. And we've got Tarot. He's receiving the pass, and you're going to start out with a fake shot. You're using it as a first touch. It's a little bit safer, and it squares you up to attack the opposition. You can do a lot of different skill moves. You get a bit of a speed burst, and Tarot just attacks the wing. We whip it across. Easy goal. And we take that 2-1 to one lead, and it gives you a little more of an advantage if you can read the game ahead of time. If you think your opponent's going to overplay, and look at all the space in behind. Remy is going to abuse that. So when receiving the pass, fake shot, uh, my opponent is caught off guard. And it's a little bit of a quicker speed of play. And in a lot of different instances, it's a faster turn. It does depend on the player. Uh, it does depend on the ball control. But if you're able to see the game one step before your opposition, you should be rewarded. And that's what happens in clip number three. We've got Remy. He's receiving a pass first time into the middle. My opponent's a step slow and a beautiful left-footed finish to start out a match and get that 1-0 to zero lead. We're going to watch an instant replay of that. Uh, this is a perfect example of why this move is so effective. Welcome, my friends, to the stutter step maneuver. And a lot of people don't utilize this online. I don't see it used on a regular basis. And it's amazing. And it's so, so simple. So what you're going to be doing is using the fake shot command and not choosing a side. So you're just lifting your leg up. And we get a beautiful finish there by Benteke. Lampard has never looked so quick going down the wings and whipping in across. And it shields the attacking player. As you can see there, there's a bit of some separation. And my opponent doesn't know when to tackle. He doesn't have the timing lined up, and that's because this is a different animation. A lot of people aren't used to seeing this. Got Remy on a breakaway. I could have shot this early, but you know what? I didn't want to. I wanted a sure thing, and my opponent just gets shook. He didn't expect what came next. He was like, whoa, hold on, wait a minute. And I love using the stutter step on breakaways. You can throw it at the keeper, and sometimes they will actually go early and dive left or right. And the last couple clips are going to be skill move mix-ups. And look at Benteke on a run. It just creates separation, and your opponent doesn't know when to tackle. He's thrown off. It's so quick, and it doesn't matter if you have a fast player or a skillful player. It works with anyone. This move is not limited to having a certain amount of skill moves. It's one of the most simple, and it just lets you control the game. Ben Arfa here. Boom. We get a nice little roulette and a beautiful left-footed finish and it's just a skill move mix-up it deals with timing people aren't used to seeing the animation and it's definitely something that you should have in your arsenal some bread and butter lastly we've got the stop and pop also known as the hamburger and fries combo we've got lampard on a counter-attack we've got people chasing and we're gonna punish them for not being able to stop on a dime like we're able to do and in order to do this move hold l2 if you're on the ps4 or lt on the xbox one while you're executing a fake shot and Lampard smashes it home, upper 90. That's what you expect out of him. He's a legendary player and he always, and I mean always, will be able to strike the ball with the best of them. 
And then in clip two here, we got Jovetic. And we don't have much going for us. There's not a lot of bodies in the box. And that's what makes the stop and pop so great. You can pick out a pass. Aguero with a beautiful finish. Tucks it home. We're back in the match. And it's all about momentum and, and controlling the pace of a game. And if you've watched my regular gameplay videos, I use this almost every single match. It just allows you to add a little bit of some new variation. And this is a great example. We get something out of nothing. We've got Gibbs. He's up on a corner kick. And we're going to make a quick turn. I mean, very quick. It catches my opponent off guard. A couple little ste uh, step overs. And we finish it home. Strong left foot. And I'm glad he was up for the corner kick. We get the extra time winner. Uh, just tucks it home in that corner. But if you guys enjoy the video, please drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's9USA. Got a lot more content coming for you ASAP ASAP.